I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for the week of December the 4th. Well, what a week this is. There's so much going on. So let's go through it. So on the 3rd, um, and I'm recording this couple of days before the 3rd. Some of you will be watching it afterwards, but there is a full moon on the 3rd. Um, and also Mercury goes retrograde. <laughs> so, you know, it's... Uh, quite a hectic time. There's also a very nice trine between Jupiter and Neptune and this really just helps us to get inspired about life. So with everything else going on, I mean, you know, when life is messy and chaos, then guess what? Change is imminent. And, uh, and then we get into midweek and Mercury will sextile with uh, uh, Mars and I love this because in one way it's terrific because Mars is all about being assertive uh, so it helps us to stand up and think what we want and you know really get some clarity and put that out there with our intention but let's not forget Mercury is retrograde so you know you want to be a little bit diplomatic as well you know think think what <laughs> think it through first is always a good thing with Mars um, then Mercury will conjunct with Saturn so this helps to get long-term plans because one of the things that's great when Mercury is retrograde is to get the research the planning and get things organized and Saturn helps you do that Saturn sort of helps you just get down to business and be responsible in that way um, Mars will sextile with Saturn so opportunity Opportunities will come through this week as well that can help you to set solid foundations for the future. And then Mars will move into the next sign, which is Scorpio, one of the signs that rules, the other sign being Mars, that's co ruler of Scorpio, uh, original Scorpio ruler, and the modern ruler is. Uh, Pluto, so two pretty heavy duty planets. So uh, that's, uh, you know, probably a good reason why Scorpio is not to be messed with. <laughs> um, and so it's very passionate. Mars and Scorpio, it's like getting things done. It's intimacy because uh, it's in the eighth house and it's passion. Uh, and passion can be sexual passion, rom you know, romantic sexual relationship passion, or it can just be passionate about life, you know. Um, and that's like a great thing. You get that passion behind your desires and that's what pushes it along, you know, and pushes it forward to make it happen and eventuate it and to put it into thoughts, into practice and to materialize and manifest. Um, and then right at the end of the weekend, 9th and 10th, uh, Venus is going to square, it looks like... Um, um, Neptune so just be a little bit careful something doesn't feel right that it probably isn't tune into your instincts as particularly with money and love um, and and um, Mercury is going to try and uh, Uranus so something can sort of come out of the blue with that one and you want to be careful that you don't speak before you think but, you know, sometimes that can work out as well. And an opportunity which starts with a discussion can sort of come out of the blue and be quite good for creativity. So um, there's a lot, as I said, there's a lot going on. And, of course, the sun is now moved into Sagittarius. So um, that freedom-loving um, and, you know, energy of Sagittarius, you know, to sort of get out there and sort of make things happen is very much in the limelight as well, okay? And Venus is in Sagittarius too, so it's quite a sort of flirtatious and and it's nice with Mercury is retrograde that we've got a little bit of lightheartedness there. All right, so um, <clears throat> the other thing I want to mention is I have just launched the new website, the uh, just under jenniferangel.com. It's Jennifer Angel Horoscopes and Soul Shop. So uh, it's the start of the Soul sh Shop of products. Um, not too many on there at the moment, but it'll grow. <clears throat> there was a 
excuse me, big rush to get it launched before Mercury retrograde, okay? So if you find any links that are not working, please let me know. Um, so that happened like very, very early this morning. So um, didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Good luck for this, uh, good job for this soft lighting I've got here. So, you know, I'll be just doing you know, very quick sort of straight to the point candid snapshots of the videos this week as I've been doing for the last six weeks or so so um, all right so have a great week and uh, I hope you're enjoying the new site bye for now